Hey everyone! Have you ever thought about how the cost can add up when you go fishing? I mean buying lures or bait every time you head out onto the water. We've been curious about the expenses, especially considering how things are becoming pricier these days. In this episode, we are getting down to the details of the cost of fishing. And guess what? We are kicking back in New Zealand. And today we are camping in Fitianga in the beautiful Coromandel. Alright, so I went to Smart Marine to buy a couple of lures. I spent 50 New Zealand dollars on these three items. Things have gotten pretty expensive. And I got myself a pack of jig heads, one micro jig by Ocean Angler here, a flea, and just one pack of uh, Z-Man soft bait, my favorites. Well, good morning, everybody. So I found myself a really nice spot to go fishing this morning. I'll show you. We camped up right next to the water. I haven't fished this area, be the first time, and today. Like I showed you, I just got a couple of lures worth $50. It's not a lot. All I'm going to be taking with me are these lures today because I want to find out what can I actually catch for these $50. So let's hope we got any luck today. Let's go. Now today it's just me and the Aqua Marina. I love this boat. It's so easy to get down steep boat ramps or you know soft beaches and you launch everywhere you want just like a kayak. Haitian couldn't get out of bed this morning. It's a little bit too early for her. So maybe the fishing is good this morning. We'll do another quick session in the evening and she can come along. Today is my first day fishing again in New Zealand after a three and a half months overseas trip. So really looking forward to get out there. Oh yeah, she's still starting up. Took a little while after a couple of months in storage, but and with this cold day, but when I started, nice. All right, so I got around the coast a little bit. Check that out. Nice little island here. And there's a big hole in the rock. That freestanding rock there looks really cool with that hole in it. And uh, there are quite a few birds here. They are being quite active. So I'm just dropping my lures here. So let's start by putting a jig head onto one of my soft bait rods, just drop one of those ones and let it bob around and then on the other rod I'll put my micro jig and uh, jig that around a little bit. Now these jig heads that I'm having here, these are made by that's Ocean Angler Ocean Angler, and they're called light bulbs. They're a little bit more expensive but actually not that much more expensive than those Berkeleys but they got like one advantage, they glow in the dark. See they got different colors, this one is pink here, the little pink dot there and they got green and blue i think and yeah they got some uv paint on them which might or might not help i don't know but for just the difference of one dollar compared to the other ones i thought might be worth a shot and also they look pretty good they got pretty good hooks and stuff you know these are my all-time favorite uh, siemens for catching snapper those are pedal tails five inch pedal tails Especially that color combination here, I found, has caught me some of the biggest snapper. These ones are also scented, so they're a little bit sticky when you put them on the hook. And of course, you want to make sure with a soft bait always that they're pretty much straight on the hook when you hook them up. So let's chuck that overboard and see. Now the other lure that I've got is also made by Ocean Angler, and that's the flea. The special thing about the flea is that this is made with uh, tungsten and tungsten is heavier than steel or lead and that's why this lure is very small. It's probably one of the smallest micro jigs you can get. It's got a really good uh, strong hook on it despite its small size and has a nice action underwater. I've caught a lot of fish with that. Trevelli seem to like this tiny little micro jigs the most. This is the smallest one you can get here. It's a, a 21 gram, I believe. It says 21 gram. I think it's the smallest one. So I'm gonna tie that onto the other one and uh, jig that around a little bit. 
And that's pretty much all we got for our $50. Take a soft bait, this jig, and a couple of jig heads. But you know guys, the thing with uh, fishing with lures is you pay a little bit more up front, but then you can fish with them over and over again. It's not like bait where you pay 25 bucks, maybe you get some burly as well, you end up paying $40 or something like that as well. But then after your fishing trip, everything is gone. That's why I like fishing with lures. You spend 50 bucks and you can use it for pretty much half a year and catch tons of fish. It is of course until you hit a little reef and then you lose your lure on the bottom. Especially if you leave the soft bait unattended. My first soft bait is gone. I just got stuck and I couldn't get it out of here. So one soft bait and one jig head is about $6 if I'm right. So the two packages, about $30 together. Five jig heads and five soft baits. If you lose one each, yep, you just lost $6, which I just did. Not too bad. So let's hope we're not gonna lose any more today. All right, guys, we're on. I got the first fish. It's a small one. Tiny snapper on the micro jig, guys. Little baby snapper. <laughs> now this micro jig, as you've seen, has a little bit of a pink shimmer to it. There's a little bit of pink in those uh, lures. It seems to always work really good for me. Oh yeah, guys, we got one. Just drifting along here at the deeper water, doing nothing. I was just looking at my phone, really. What could that be, guys? What could that be? It's... Okay, what have we got here? So we got one snapper here. It's not too bad. I think I'm gonna keep that one, even though it's a little bit small, but it will be a good dinner size anyway. So yeah, let's keep that one. Nice little catch on the micro jig. Now we got the next snap on. I think I'm gonna release that one. Yeah, that one is, uh, is fairly small, but now it's time for some sunscreen. Always good to put sunscreen on with fishy fingers then. Your whole face is gonna smell like fish the whole day. Oh, it's your best shot attract some women. Alrighty guys, I made it out to a place called the Twins behind me. The two twins there. It's a reef here and the coastline I gotta say around Fitianga and Hai and so is spectacular. There's another bird work up over there. Okay let's drop the micro jig first and see how deep the water is. Hopefully it's not too reefy right here. Oh no, I think I lost the micro jig. I got stuck on the micro jig already. <sighs> Shit, 20 bucks gone. Guys, I lost 20 bucks micro jig. The ocean angler flea is gone. Ah, should always start with a soft bait. So, 50 bucks and I lost 6 bucks earlier. And I lost another 20 bucks. So, 26 bucks lost today. And we got one fish. But honestly, that was a little bit stupid. I should have known. It's a bit reefy here. Oh yeah guys, we got a good one. I just found a few fish on my deeper fish finder. Just make sure that I don't lose the fish. These are uh, Z-Man soft baits, they... Oh, we got a Trevelli guys. That's why he's coming for that fast moving lure when I pulled it up really fast. Got ourselves a nice Trevelli. Oh, that's nice. I really wanted to try catch a Trevelli. It's not a huge one, but man, these guys, they pull some string. Definitely a keeper. Not hooked very strongly, so Trevelli, you gotta be careful. It was a good eating size. Nothing huge, but I'm happy with that one. Guys, I don't know what I got on now. It's pretty heavy. It's really heavy. It doesn't have any head shakes like a snap or anything. I just picked it up from the bottom. I thought I'm snagged to something. Oh yeah, it's a nice size gurnard, guys. Oh, wow. Yo, I'm happy with that. And didn't show up on the fish finder. Nice gurnard, gotta be careful with the spikes. Awesome. Here's a nice size carrot. Just gonna make sure that those spikes don't get anywhere near my boat here. 
That's these Siemens soft baits that I've been showing you. Pretty good, they catch a variety of species. That collar profile and the pedal tail, they're really good. Just gonna give that an eeky here. And it's got some pretty nasty spines here as well, this guy. So you don't wanna get those spines in you anywhere. They got some slight poison in them as well, so if you get stung by them, it can be can become septic, so that is awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got a big school of snapper underneath. That's pretty good, uh, decent size. I'm gonna let this guy go because definitely we got enough fish here. Okay. Look at that. Nice size fish. But you can go. Oh, there he goes. I can see some pretty big fish here on the bottom as well, on my deeper right now. Definitely what something going on down there. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. On again. What is that? It could be another gurnard or something, a small one. It's not very uh, heavy this time, but it's not shaking like a snapper. Oh, we got another gurnard. Check this out, guys. We got another gurnard on. So here's a good, good area to catch a couple of those gurnards, eh? Nice. Oh, look at that. There's the... Look at that. Oi. Look at that. We got the seal. You know, she wants to eat the gurnard. Did you see that seal, guys? It's after the gurnard. It's over there now. I let the guy go. Hopefully he makes it down to the bottom quickly. He's still really fast. Jeez, I thought it was a shark for a moment here. Right next to the boat. It was a big seal. Oh, that was exciting. Now we're getting lots of boats coming out here. Yeah, lots of these boaties, they come out around 10 a.m. But it's usually better when you get up a little bit earlier, especially if the bite time is right in at sunrise or just after sunrise, like the major or minor times on fishingreminder.com. You can see that there easily. If you've got a bite time coming an hour, two hours after sunrise, usually a really good time. Start at sunrise and then fish into that bite time for two, two hours or so, and then you're pretty much done like me today. Back at the camp and yeah, just thought I'd show you my catch one more time quickly. So that's what we got today here. Got a nice little snapper here. Got a gurnard and got a nice trevally. Uh, not the biggest fish, but actually they're really good eating sizes. So yeah, we're gonna have this one probably as sashimi later. A nice whole cooked gurnard. And then a couple of snapper fillets here. I'll be super yummy. With losing this jig, I spent about $26, half of the price for the lures that I bought. I still got four soft baits and four jig heads left. So not too bad, $26 for three of these nice fish. Just me being stupid, uh, dropping that nice micro jig right on the top of the reef, getting stuck there straight away. Otherwise, it would have cost me only $6 so far in terms of lures. And good thing is, these soft baits, they last a long time, so I can reuse them. Normally for $50 worth of lures like this here, you can catch a lot of fish for a long time as compared to bait. Okay, let's head back. Here it is. Do you find using lures for fishing more cost effective compared to buying bait? We will let you decide. And to all you experienced fishermen out there, do you have any wise tips for reducing fishing costs? Please share your valuable suggestions in the comments.